Hello everyone, how is it going? Today we're looking into this AI which is able to replace sky, the sky in your videos. So it's called as dynamic sky replacement and harmonization in videos. So what it does, it, it replaces the sky almost seamless. You can't even differentiate the difference. And it also creates a harmony between the original video and the new re uh, sky replaced video. So you can see the texture of the ground has changed and it's almost mimicking to the texture of the sky on the top. So it creates a harmony between the replaced video and the foreground. So it, they both become, they, they create a harmony between them. That's what they're calling it as the harmonization in videos. So it's an amazing technology. We'll see how we can do this. The link to this particular file will be in the description below. And this is right from the author's web page. So you can just open in the Colab file here, which is easy to run and makes the job very easy for us. Uh, so the first thing you wanna make sure is the runtime is GPU, which will, it'll be, it'll come under GPU already for you, but just make sure it's already in GPU. But once you have that, you can just simply run all. And if you press run all, it will go through each and every code of this. It will clone the repository, it will change the directory right here, and it will import all the libraries that we need. In th these cases, it will drown, It will download all the model files, all the weights that you need. So it's downloading all these, uh, these configuration files for the model, everything that you need, the checkpoints, the models, this, these are nothing but the weight files that we need for this project. So it downloads everything for us, and it creates uh, these folders. You'll see some new folders come up here, and uh, they'll be right here. And the reason I'm not running this is because it takes a lot of time, and uh, this video would be too long if I were to run through that. But it's very easy. If you run into any issues, leave a comment, and I'll go into that and help you if you are running into any issues implementing this. So once you run everything to up to this point, so these are two options you have. You can either run this particular one or you can come here and uncomment everything and run it here. What what's the difference between both of them is, this one is the default option, which will take up images of its own size. But let me just clone this one so you'll understand what's, what we're dealing with. And uh, we're just running this. It'll take a few seconds. And let's give it, okay, so done. Now you can go into the Sky AR. So the Sky AR has these options. You can see the Sky box here and the test video right here. The Sky box has a set of images which pre, which already come along with the repository. These are default images. These are basically the Sky, the new Sky that you can put. And these test videos are the videos that are already available, the Ann Arbor. So this is uh, from the University of Chicago and no, uh, Ann Arbor, I think it's some some different university. Oh yeah, University of Michigan Ann Arbor. So yeah, that that's from where the video is coming, and then you have the canyon. So you have two videos to test, and a couple of skies that you can replace always. So if you come coming back here, what I was explaining here, uh, this particular section, if you run this, it will take one of those default images and default videos that we saw earlier. But if you wanted your own image and your own video to work here. So just uncomment this, so coming that, coming here, if you uncomment this proportion right here and change to the image that you want and change the video that you want. What you would do is just come here, upload the image that you want by clicking on upload here in the, under the sky box and under the test video, you can upload whatever video you want. So once you do the upload part, everything uh, right here, come here, just, rerun this for class which is a sky filter and this is the main brain of the whole project this is where you're replacing and it will create a new video with the demo.avi file so this demo.avi file is what we are interested in finally and this function here is what calls this particular code below before it and it will create that code which basically replaces the sky for us it's very simple to implement. Again, like I said, just go, go in the front, just make sure you have your GPU enabled, run through everything. And here, right here, where it says configure your model, come here and in, if you don't want to use the default, which is this option, uncomment this portion and upload whatever video you want and upload whatever skybox that you want. Once you have all of that, just go ahead and run the sky filter function and this sky filter 
call function which basically replaces the video for us and it goes through each video frame and replaces the sky first and it'll create this demo.avi and demo hyphen cat avi which is nothing but the concatenation it concatenates it concatenates the original and the new video that we created and just creates an output for us but if you want just the sky replace just go ahead and download the demo.avi which will be right here the demo.avi and you will see it here in this folder it will come up right here in this section so again, again, I just quickly went through this project because there's not much we can do about this because it's already pre-done and everything is very perfectly written and it implements it very easily. So I'm just going over how you can do it. With that, we come to the conclusion of this video. You guys take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.